What's up guys, this is the Roverman and we are back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. And in the last episode we've been, for whatever reason, attacked by the Mughals and they've decided to lay siege to us but not press their attack so we are sallying out and we have a significant force here in place so I'm not overly concerned. Without further ado, let us attack. So we are going to have to grow our forces in Tunis quite spectacularly because we need to retake Algiers from the Barbary States and we need to also take Tripoli to remove them from the game. And we also need to just defend against against these Mughal armies coming in. Okay, so let's drop our drop our artillery over here. Form the mightiest of front lines. Put a big block of troops up here to form one flanking division, backed up by some pikes. And our cavalry is going to anchor themselves on the left, general in the centre. Firstly, move our pikes up. So our artillery's doing a good job, we've knocked out one of their guns. Come on there, man's about to get intercepted by our infantry. Okay, the bayonets are twirling. Both of those fellas go into square formation. There we go. Let the let, let our squares suck up their uh, camel formations. Because they're shattered. These guys are shaken. They're about to get very upset. Camel gunners up here are being outgunned because they're against our entire line. We shatter them before they escape. Setting up. guys have to hold the left. Not alone though, now their camels have been decimated. To the Indian troops before they form up. Okay, 
pivot these guys to deal with the swordsman, then pivot. These guys in to maintain the crossfire. Swordsmen are very good. So that still may not be enough. My, cam my cavalry there is going to rout. That's okay. They might come back. So these guys are going to get caught by the square. I suppose they have to fight them. If they don't, they'll give up. They'll give up the flank. general to try to take advantage of this mess. The camels are running back. See, this is the frustrating thing about what the enemy does. Is that they'll run away, and then you go, fine, I'll bring my cavalry back. And then they decide, aha, now's the time to kill you. Goes against the camel nomads. It's a bit of a dodgy one to call, really. Especially when the damn battle keeps rotating, so I can't even get a my Jeff, my general, where he was, he'd have been fine. I'd like to save my cavalry, but I don't think they're going to let me extricate them from this battle. There we 
we go. Send them in. See, they're shattered. Seek musketeers. Go take them out. 23rd Dakili are probably going to go down. Hopefully the units that aren't engaged in combat will take out the general. Thank God. Campbell's did route. Okay, make as many of these shattered as possible. Don't move these guys yet, because they are engaging. Sadly, I think we're going to get a bit of a... Not going to get as many men as we would have liked. Shattered. Good, good, good. Go, 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 go. No, that's the end of the game, end of the battlefield. Going to continue just in case. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Ah, oh, they're all shattered. Well, you continue to attack them. Fire will off. Generals being shot at by everyone. Come on, General, take him out. Destroy them. And the last remaining troops are up here although they're spread out so they're probably going to do okay yeah they're going to escape there they go but we have managed to break break the siege and that's the most important thing we've done they've only got a thousand men left that's not very many if you're the if you're the uh, Mughal Empire. So let's just combine some of our weakest units together. So our trade's okay, we're still getting eight grand, but yeah, we pretty much needed to dump a load of money into building up. Building up our forces here, and then take out the Barbary States once more. Because Britain still seems safe. Going to get next level naval techs. We're going to get measuring tools. Which is pretty good. But we can hit end turn. But yeah, it kind of sucks that I lost my focus. And they ended up um, blockading our port. Because it meant that we lost a bunch of trade. And it meant that we ended up... It meant that we ended up having lots of problems with unit retention than we otherwise would have had. I yes, must not forget my continuous expansion in the Americas. Let's see if I can get my light galley to raid cert. Two Jebex, but I don't want to move my ship out from port. You guys just go and destroy Destroy the leftover Moogles. So you guys need to replenish quickly. March towards Algiers. They've got lots of junk. 
you guys get in. Let's recruit some cavalry and some infantry. In fact, let's punt them out of our port completely. Let's repair the port, repair the farm. Can't repair the iron workshop or the mine, but that will come. Trade route raided, that's okay. So we've got naval shore facilities. Okay, for seasoning, reduce upkeep isn't bad. Not that we've upkeep's not really a problem. Um yeah. Let's hit end turn again. But I want to send an army west to hit Algiers, an army to go hit Tripoli. And just knock the Barbary states out completely. Ideally, I'd like to make... Yeah, yeah. so this is why that's not going to happen. So right now, I am, I am just firefighting. They're going to blockade my port, and that's probably really bad. Two and a half thousand, that's not too bad. To be honest, I just needed a halfway decent navy. And halfway decent does not mean all capital ships. No. He's not going to sally out and take on all those ships on his own. March you guys back up here. Repair this. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I've got peace with Sweden, haven't we? Forgot about that. So the, the pirates are blockading us. Can you guys leave the Leeward Islands? Not yet. But when you can, I want to go knock out San Jose, then take Paramaribo and Cayenne, and that will help expand our coffers against this most frustrating of wars. But because we've got this army here, it'll take them a turn to deposit their army anywhere. I might leave them a bit close to Tunis. Just in case. That's not good. Because that looks like they're going to go and try and take my lands. Which if they do, fortunately no one island is critical. They're going to combine... Yep, they've deposited off their army. I need to expand my navy. Seasoning. My army's fully replenished. Did they abandon the blockade? No, they haven't. It's a lot of rubbish navies they've got. But rubbish navies is all they need. Why can't I buy... Oh, I'm buying Admiral's flagships. Let's buy two-fourths. So we've lost all trade, but we're going to expand it a bit. Let's build a trade port here and... look to recruit a ship. To occupy the port. Commercial port in Malta, not that it'll do us any good. So these chaps, with their army recruiting the Americas, they're probably going to attack me. I mean, I can open up a trade route, but not with France, sadly. Let's try to get trade with Sweden, a former enemy, and let's see where it goes. It does go into here, into Greenwich. But I still need to upgrade 
unlock this port again. So what have you got lots of? Lots of cavalry. Okay, let's take you, plus one more in your line. Mohammed Shafi. They're a bit depleted, actually, which is a good sign, because it means they might be throwing in... They're throwing in uh, old armies rather than new builds. Which is promising, at least from my perspective. But ideally, if I could, if I, if I could secure North America and France attack me, I would just attack Paris. Again, let's be very cagey about this. So let's deploy front line. Reinforcing line. No, it's not the most honourable thing doing this, but I need to win this. So where are their guns? Oh, they don't have any. So they will be driven to attack me. Let's focus on bombarding their cavalry first. And let's split this, these reinforcing units out a little bit more. for these camel nomads because they're all clustered together so near misses will do more damage especially it's the camels i dislike the most i guess heavy cavalry is not a problem but i don't have heavy cavalry but yeah the idea is that because they're all in a big they're in a rectangle rather than one line any rounds that fall short will bounce into them first I mean, even better. So in the middle unit, on target, hits camels. If they go long, they hit hidden camels. If they go short, they hit Zemandari horsemen. Which, like, maximises the amount of... Yeah, see, they were never going to let me get away with that for too long. Get my artillery to focus on the infantry. So I can focus on winning the cavalry battle. So just form square, because I mean they're just pushing with just cavalry, so form square. Stand a chance. In you go, Grenadiers. You hit the camel gunners. See if I can get my cavalry to break that unit of camels. Oh, they're sh shattered anyway. They're both shattered. Great. No, come back. You go straight in. Yeah, 
yeah, it looks like they're actually gonna. They might break. Nope, they came back. Pity. Get my grenadiers to go help them out. My cavalry can take out their cavalry as long as my grenadiers go through and help. General's bodyguard's broken. There go the camels. Go into the levee. Shattered, shattered. You go after that, you need a levee. This is a bit of a perfect result. Because we're in key, we're in primed position to rout their entire army. If you guys continue to fire at them, you might be able to make them shatter without needing to use any of my cavalry. I'm gonna go on the wall, there we go. You guys go after them. Good stuff, let's just stop our artillery now. Ah no, they can't stop the artillery. Hit the 16th. shattered so just go help these guys shatter them this is why I like keeping my cavalry intact because from a campaign perspective destroying them like this is just so so much easier and I am aware of that unit still existing They're all shattered. So let's get our cavalry in position, ready to just mob them. The unit has two men, but they are shattered as well. So we don't... Whoa, run, 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 run. Charge into the infantry here quickly. Run, you guys run back to your line. Now, why they kept their infantry guards in as a reserve? Good. Everyone push up. I can understand your wavering, you're down to 68 men already. There we go. Cavalry go after them. Stop firing my artillery, because these guys will soon break. Damn right, we're going to continue.
There we go. They're all shattered. So that might be the entire army gone in one turn. Which would be excellent. Yeah, they're all shattered, so this guy doesn't matter if he gets away. Just... Eh? Everyone just run down this unit of Dakili. You'd like to think there's only so many times they would attempt something like this. Decisive victory. That's the word. Always the word you want to see. Okay. We lost 400 men. They're down to 500 men left. Probably lose more doing this auto-resolve. Nearly. Punish what we can. Good. Um, but looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode because uh, we've just been fighting in fighting in North Africa. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.